Remote Diagnostics is a tool that enables Scania workshops to retrieve vehicle data remotely via the Scania communicator. This film will present four situations in which remote diagnostics can be used to improve workshop efficiency and customer satisfaction. We will now see how remote diagnostics can be used to identify additional work and improve the planning of a workshop visit. Magnus is a person responsible for maintenance of a medium-sized transportation company. He calls his local Scania workshop to book a time for maintenance for one of the vehicles in the fleet. In the Scania workshop, a service advisor takes the call and schedules a time for the service. He then goes to the remote diagnostics web application and orders a remote download of the vehicle data in preparation for its maintenance visit. The data is downloaded via the Scania communicator. The data is sent while the vehicle is being operated without disturbing the driver. When the data has finished downloading, the service advisor receives an email containing a vehicle status report. This report shows two fault codes for this truck. The first fault code shows there are interruptions or low power in the circuit for the horn. The service advisor adds more time to the reservation to allow checking for faults in that circuit. The second fault code shows the voltage in the switch for the differential lock is below the limit value. The service advisor is not able to make a conclusion based on this information, so he asks a technician to investigate the fault code in STP3. The technician can access the downloaded diagnostics file in STP3. When looking at it, he finds a probable cause for the fault code. He informs the service advisor of the best solution to be conducted on the truck during its maintenance visit. The service advisor calls Magnus to inform him about the faults found and asks if they should fix the problems at the already planned visit. Magnus agrees and time is added to the booking in order for the technician to fix the problems. When the vehicle arrives at the workshop, both the customer and the Scania technician know what work should be performed. Since the maintenance is planned and the diagnostics already run, the technician can efficiently fix all the issues within the allocated time. The customer is impressed by the service of the workshop and is happy to have all work done at the same visit. We will now see how remote diagnostics can be used to follow up a job carried out in the workshop. A few days after the visit to the workshop, the service advisor wants to check that the job carried out in the workshop has solved the problem. He goes to the remote diagnostics web application and orders a new vehicle report to be downloaded remotely. Again, the data is downloaded from the truck while it's being operated. When the download is finished, the service advisor gets an email containing the report. He opens the report and can see no fault codes active and the previous issue remains solved. He can conclude that correct actions were carried out during the maintenance visit. The service advisor calls Magnus and tells him that the problems are solved. We will now see how remote diagnostics can be used to support a driver experiencing a problem on the road. A driver has noticed for some time that the warning lamp for the ABS system sometimes flashes. The driver calls to his Scania workshop to get advice on what to do. The service advisor offers to download the vehicle data and to have a look at it. The driver agrees. Like in the previous case, the service advisor goes to the web application, 
downloads the data and waits for the email with the vehicle report. The report shows a fault code which says that there is an error in the front right wheel sensor. The service advisor calls the driver back and informs him what he sees in the report. He tells the driver that he can continue to drive but that the truck should come in for a workshop visit soon so that the problem can be fixed. The service advisor then makes a call to Magnus, the person responsible for the maintenance of the truck at the customer site, to ask if they should book a time for fixing the defective sensor. Magnus agrees to schedule a repair. We will now see how remote diagnostics can be used by Scania Assistants to offer a more efficient service for a vehicle off-road. This truck just had a breakdown and has stopped at the roadside. The driver calls Scania Assistance. The operator picks up the call and talks to the driver. He informs the driver that they will send out an assistance van to help him. The Scania Assistance operator then downloads the fault codes of the truck to see what could have caused the breakdown. He can also see the coordinates where the vehicle is standing. In the data, he sees an active fault code, stating that there is a very low fuel pressure. The operator calls the Scania workshop. He informs the service advisor about the coordinates where the vehicle is located and tells him about the identified fault code. The technician brings the parts that are most likely to be needed for the truck, in this case a feed pump for the fuel and a fuel filter. He can easily find the vehicle thanks to the coordinates given by Scania assistance. And he can quickly fix the problem as he was already prepared for what to do. The customer is impressed by how fast and efficient Scania could fix the problem and can continue to complete his transport job without any major delay. We have now seen four situations in which remote diagnostics can be used to improve workshop efficiency and customer satisfaction. It can be used to identify additional work and improve the planning of a workshop visit. It can be used to follow up a job carried out in the workshop. It can also be used to support a driver experiencing a problem on the road. And finally, remote diagnostics can be used by Scania Assistance to offer a more efficient service for a vehicle experiencing problems. With remote diagnostics, Scania will not only increase efficiency and customer satisfaction, but also strengthens its image as premium service provider. <laughs>